What's up guys, Quantrix02 here. Uh, Summer Slam 2014 just went off the air and I'm going to review the entire pay-per-view from start to finish. And man, was it very, very interesting. Um, and I'll start off with the kickoff match, which was uh, RVD versus Cesaro, which was a really, really pretty, really good match. Probably one of RVD's best matches since his second run started, I believe. Uh, just a lot of great chemistry uh, between those two. And um, actually, RVD actually got the win tonight. I don't believe that. Uh, I'm not sure if RVD's going to be going away uh, for taking another break or not. Uh, but, I don't know. Anyway, RVD wins the match, and then we get, a, we get to the pay-per-view. Uh, pay-per-view starts off with Hulk Hogan putting over the network, even though, you know, saying, you know, I don't get how why they put over the, putting over the network on the network. I mean, don't... When we already have it, since we're watching it on the network, I don't, I don't know, I don't understand that. But Hulk Hogan put over the network, uh, nine ninety nine, blah 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 blah, and yeah, so that was cool. Got to see Hulk again. That's great. Uh, the opening match was Dolph Ziggler versus The Miz for the Intercontinental Championship. Probably one of the uh, best paced matches on the card. Uh, one of my favorites out of the, all the matches on the card. Um, Miz and, and Ziggler, man, they just have chemistry. They're just, they're perfect, man. They, they, they know exactly what to do I, that probably was like a perfect match right there if I had to say so not the longest match but definitely picture perfect I don't I, never, I don't remember any botches or anything you know raw going on in that matchup these two guys know each other like the back of each other's hands and man it was great um it was one spot where Ziggler went for the famous and he and Miz bounced off the the canvas came back up and hit the Skullcrush finale Dolph Ziggler kicked out of a Skullcrush finale okay he kicked out of it Hit the zigzag. One, two, three. Dolph Ziggler wins the IC Championship from the Miz. No longer can the WWE ignore, uh, ignore the Ziggler chance. They had to put the title on this guy. Hopefully, they actually do something with it because uh, it will suck if this was, you know, for all for nothing. Um, next was Paige versus AJ Lee. Definitely a better match than at, uh, you know, Battleground because the Battleground match was eh. This one I liked a lot more. Um, they definitely, I feel like they still didn't go all out, but for the for I mean I, I think they're gonna build to that. I think they're gonna build to that uh, that last that final match at Night of Champions because at this in this match, Paige actually won the Divas Championship back from AJ Lee, and I feel that this feud is gonna go on to Night of Champions for their final match, and hopefully maybe it has an awesome stipulation. That'd be really cool. Uh, but yeah, Paige uh, beats AJ tonight, and she's now your new Divas champion. Who would have thought? Beat her with the um, the uh, what is it? Uh, God, I always forget the the, uh, the Rampage, which is like a a uh, it's a DDT basically. It's a, it's a really cool DDT. Um, then we had Rusev versus Jack Swagger in a flag match, and I don't know if they just they changed the rules of what a flag match was, but I, I used to think a flag match is when you put the flag on a pole on each side, and the man, one, you know, you have to go in and retrieve your flag to win the match, but apparently there would be, just like the Inferno match and the, the uh, Ring of Fire match, they, they changed the rules to that, so now basically it was a normal matchup, and the winner got their flag, uh, you know, uh, roll down and their anthem played, uh, but this was a definitely a really really good match. I really thought that this match was going to be pro not, not, I didn't think it was going to be the worst match on the card, but I really didn't you know think much of it. But man, it was really good. Jack Swagger, man, the crowd popped for this guy. Doesn't this American face uh, baby face uh, thing is really getting over for Jack Swagger and Zeb Coulter because they really are behind these guys, and I am too. I'm a huge Jack Swagger fan. Uh, Rusev, a great heel. Um, Really played up that, that ankle injury in that matchup a lot. There was one point where he tried to lock in the accolade and he couldn't because he couldn't put pressure on his leg. That was really, really awesome. A lot of great storytelling in this thing. Uh, but the best part is that Jack Swagger, got in the, he would put Jack Swagger in the accolade again and um, he would not tap out. He would pass out uh, kind of a, um, a la Steve Austin. Um, Bret Hart, he would not give up, which is really cool. So this keeps the keeps uh, both characters strong in this, and so uh, yeah, Rusev wins by ac by the accolade, and and you know his flag is shown and all that good stuff. But I, I'm expecting more stuff from this feud and more stuff from Jack Swagger. I don't see them deep pushing Swagger yet. 
Uh, next was Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins in the Lumberjacks uh, match, which was probably the craziest Lumberjack match I've ever seen in my life because it was just insane. They could not, they could not uh, contain these guys into this ring. It went everywhere. All the wrestlers was all around the arena trying to chase these guys down. They both beaten down the the, uh, the Lumberjacks. Just pandemonium. That's one spot where where the Dean Ambrose just like jumped on top. They had um, you know how like they they like they had rave parties, basically like in um Adam Rose's entrance where they like carry him. They was carrying uh, Seth Rollins like that, and and Dean Ambrose the crazy lunatic that he just jumps on the whole crowd it was crazy. But in the end, uh, I think um the Wyatt family would get in the ring, Dean Ambrose would take them out, and then Seth Rollins would come behind and hit him with the briefcase, and uh, win the match. Great match. It's probably one of the best ones on the card. That I mean, as far as as excitement, that was probably the most one of the most entertaining uh, matches on the card. Um, one second. The next match was uh, Bray Wyatt versus Chris Jericho. Uh, just like the Page and AJ match, I feel like they uh, definitely did a better job this time at SummerSlam because uh, this one was really, really, really good. Uh, Jericho would hit the cold breaker again on Bray Wyatt, and I would get scared. I thought it was it, but he he would uh, kick out. Uh, Wyatt would uh, throw. He would get uh, Chris Jericho would get thrown to the outside. He would hit the um, the sister Abigail on the on the barricade, kind of like what he did the uh, uh, Dan Bryan when they had their match. Throw him back in the ring. Hit another one. Pin him one, two, three. Bray Wyatt uh, beats Chris Jericho in a huge win for him. Probably his biggest win in forever. Uh, I was really happy to see uh, Bray Wyatt walk out on top on that. Next was Stephanie versus Brie Bella. Uh, Stephanie. I was actually very, I was very impressed with this matchup. I don't know. Some people disliked it, but I, I was very impressed with this matchup. Stephanie, she's been training, man. Stephanie did a really, really good job. I thought I was just going here and like just have a little cat fight, and that was going to be it. But they actually wrestled. We saw DDT. We saw arm drags. We saw a lot of stuff between these two uh, ladies, and that was really, really good. Uh, but then Aunt Triple H would come out, and uh, Nikki Bella would come out. Um, Bree would take out uh, Hunter. Which was weird. Think about Brie Bella taking out Triple H. That sounds weird, right? But it happened. And they would corner the Bella Twins would corner Stephanie, and um, as we all thought was going, what would happen, it did happen. It was Nikki Bella who turned her back on her sister, hit her with a forearm. Stephanie with the pedigree and defeat uh, uh, Brie Bella. So now I guess we're going to see that Brie Bella and Nikki Bella feud that all of us have been asking for for years. No, no, I'm just kidding. It was a really good match, and, I, and I'm looking forward to see what happens with that uh, feud uh, come Monday. Um, next was Roman Reigns versus Randy Orton. Uh, pretty decent matchup. It really felt like a raw main event. Like, I've, I've been saying this for a long time, and, um, you know, some people agree, some people don't. Roman Reigns, uh, he just, he's, he's the, I like the character. I like the guy. Everything about him screams superstar, but I just... He just ha he doesn't have enough moves or something. I don't know what it is, but his matches they just don't seem complete. I felt like Randy Orton was was carrying that match the entire time. Um, but what for what Roman Reigns did, he did it well. His spears, his his all his you know, all that stuff. He did it really really well. But I, I wouldn't give this match uh, you know five stars or anything. But it was decent. It felt like a raw match. But uh, you know. It was a sick, uh, I think Randy had a sick RKO in that match too. You gotta go back and check that out. That was really cool. Uh, Roman would go for that kiss huge clothesline, then Randy would leap in the air and hit the, the uh, RKO. It's really awesome. Um, next was the main event Brock Lesnar versus John Cena. And to be honest, there ain't much to say about this match. There ain't much to discuss. Uh, they got in that ring and Brock. Lesnar beat the living hell out of John Cena. Something I thought I would never see as a WWE fan watching John Cena rule this company for 10 plus years. I thought I would never see him get an ass whooping the way he got tonight. Brock Lesnar is a beast and he demolished John Cena. And I know that those fans out there, those Cena fans, boys and girls and little kids are in shock right now. They can't believe what just happened to their hero. And that's kind of how we all felt when the streak ended um, and at WrestleMania. Brock did the same thing, maybe, maybe even worse. Maybe he had a, I think John Cena had a worse beating than Undertaker did at WrestleMania. It, just, it was just German suplex after German suplex. He had 16 German suplexes to uh, John Cena. There was no comeback. There was no uh, shoulder block, shoulder block, five-knuckle shuffle. Uh, 
you know, F you, uh, attitude adjustment. There was none of that. No comeback. It was nothing. There was no, you know, uh, well, the only thing John Cena did was put him in the STF, and that didn't last for long. Usually, we uh, we all see like we all see when John Cena rallies back up from a, from a beating. Cause we've seen John Cena take beatings before, but he would always come back and would win or would you know give a great performance. Not this time. This time it was completely different. It was out of the ordinary. I was in awe that this was going down right now. This may not have been the greatest match ever, but it definitely was entertaining to those who've been wanting to see just John Cena get his will. And I, trust me, like I said in my other video, I am not a Cena hater. I respect John Cena. He's a great performer. And um, and all this, I really do. I like John Cena. I do. Uh, not, not the biggest fan, but I like him. So, but uh, this is something that a lot of people just been wanting to see. It's something we've been asking for. Nobody wanted John Cena to get the title again. And now he got whooped and destroyed by Brock Lesnar, the beast, the real deal in the WWE. The mega star, the it factor of the WWE now is Brock Lesnar. He is holding the straps. He is the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. I have no idea who can take that thing away from Brock. But um, I'm very interested to see what happens this Monday with Paul Heyman and uh, Brock Lesnar. You know there's going to be some kind of party. You know Paul Heyman is going to be bragging his ass off uh, tomorrow night. But anyway, guys, that is the SummerSlam results for you. Pretty decent pay-per-view. I give it a four stars out of five. Um, definitely worth watching. Was it the greatest SummerSlam ever? No, but it was really, really good. I, I highly enjoyed it. Uh, so you should always just go back and watch it on the WWE Network. It's only $9.99 a month. Remember that, people. So go if you don't have it, order it right now. Go watch SummerSlam. Do it. Do it. Do it.